in deplorable conditions. I'm Marnie Hughes. Thanks for joining us. This housekeeper could not walk away from the mess, so she called around the state looking for some help. And today, she was able to rescue six animals. Tina Patel is live for us in Tacoma with the latest on this. Tina? Well, Marty, we've all heard that saying, cats have nine lives. In this case, these cats at least have a shot at a second life, thanks to this housekeeper who decided something needed to be done. Um, there's something going on with the hair loss. Rachel Negro was hoping this kitten will She's find a new home soon. Severe upper respiratory infection. That's what the eyes and the nose problem is. The kitten was one of six that Del Negro was able to rescue today from a home in Federal Way. Del Negro had been hired by a contractor to clean the place last month. When she went in, she found litters of kittens under several pieces of furniture. And I had pulled one or two of them out, and they were just crawling with black fleas. She tried to call animal control to see if yeah. something could yeah. be done. No response. Left a message, no response. Del Negro started reaching out to rescue organizations across the state. She says she couldn't stand the idea of the helpless animals trying to fend for themselves. It's just not an option. They don't deserve to suffer. It's not their fault, and they don't deserve to suffer. She finally convinced the homeowner to let her take the animals, then asked Kim Kuhn from Posado's Safe Haven to come along. Kuhn wanted to make sure the homeowner wasn't guilty of animal cruelty. Um, he was to kind of disregarded them as anything important, um, so we're just glad that we can get them out and get them help. Kuhn says with some time and care, the cats will recover. That wouldn't have happened if Del Negro didn't step in. Her tenacity and dedication to this case, thats it's truly uncommon. She hopes other animal lovers follow her lead. I encourage people to keep their eyes and ears and their noses open. <laughs> Everyone has to work together to, to help the animals. They can't speak up for themselves, so. Del Negro was just glad these cats have a chance for a new life. They are beautiful and hopefully they will be for adoption soon. <laughs> Now, we did talk to the homeowner who surrendered those cats. He didn't want to go on camera, but he said they were basically strays, and he's glad that they will get some care now. Del Negro says this is an example of why people need to spay and neuter their animals so there aren't cases like this. Reporting live in Tacoma, Tina Patel, Q13 Fox News. Fucking she did the right thing. Thanks, Tina. The weather once again hampering efforts to...